Freak offs, and he's hiring these guys. We do know from the Cassie lawsuit that Diddy uh, was alleged to have hired or get Cassie to hire a lot of male prostitutes. And, and a lot of times, you know, if you're a male sex worker, you might get probably asked to do some gay shit, right? So who knows? Who knows? But this is the first time in court, you know, or at least in a lawsuit, we're seeing very clear accusations to Diddy. Either encouraging, requesting, wanting, or fetishizing over some homosexual activity. Okay, now, okay, great. Um, so yeah, let's let me see what's going on here. Mr. Jones was in Mr. Como's house located in Miami. Uh, he was intoxicated. <laughs> Yo, chat. I did not say. I did not say it was Meek. Y'all niggas is tweaking. Somebody said scroll back. It said Meek name. It did not say Meek Mill's name. He did not, it, it did not say Meek Mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo, Meek. We were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, if you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Meek. Like, I can't even imagine such debauchery and such fuckery happening to a gangster rapper like Meek. Imagine after a freak-off session with allegedly Meek and motherfucking Diddy, and now Diddy's over here braiding motherfucking uh, Meek's hair. Like, come on, bro. No. He's a Philly rapper who did. Nah, no way. Nah, it's no way, bro. Bro, it's no way. It's no way, dog. Yo, we need AJ in the building. AJ, where, where are you at? AJ, where are you at? We need you instantly. Get in the court. Why are they saying, maybe there's another Philadelphia rapper that dated motherfucking Nicki Minaj. Is there? Here's the crazy part. Why the fuck? redact his name then describe the hell out of him right why redact his name and describe that nigga to a t <laughs> and then <laughs> look, 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 look 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 nah this shit is jokes rapper five redacted but they tell you exactly who he is oh yeah he's a philly rapper who, nigga this is like jeopardy <laughs> he's a philly rapper who dated Nicki minaj beep <laughs> Who is Meek Mill? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? And then the next person, R.B. Singer 6, redacted. Look. He performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Usher! No fucking way. Don't Usher got a song to my... I need a girl that can, uh, 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 I need a, I never know. He meant to say, I need a boy. What the fuck? I should not get, I should gay. Yo, what's going on out here? I ain't gonna lie, this nigga Usher must have got hit with the triple whammy nigga or the double whammy. This nigga got herpes and he gay. Holy shit. God damn it, this nigga can't catch a break. <laughs> it's like God said, we gotta put this nigga in the Super Bowl or something. <laughs> this nigga been this nigga been down bad for a minute. What the hell? Holy shit. If I found out that confessions was about Diddy, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, man. Nigga, it's like when I heard that that nigga Frank Ocean, when I used to play that song. Thinking about you all the time. Until I realized he was thinking about a whole nigga. This shit just hit different afterwards. Like, huh, wait, what? If I find...
found out that Usher, like, it, it was bad enough when I found out that Let It Burn was just him telling the doctor the shit was burning and he caught the herbs. But it's going to be even worse if I find out that when he was confessing, he was confessing to a man. Oh, no, no. Say it ain't so. No. Now, me, yo, let me check me tw Twitter timeline. Yo, Meek, now ain't the time to be talking about switches on the street, nigga. They want to know if you're a switch hitter. That's what we want to know, nigga. Fuck that. We ain't talking about switches on guns. Are you a switch hitter, nigga? That's all we want to know, okay? I don't want to believe it, Meek. But no, this ain't the time to talk about switches. Did you switch sides? Are you a switch hitter? What's going on, gang? By the way, I don't believe this. Me, me and Meek is my close personal friend, and I don't think it would fuck a man. I, I think this is blasphemous. There's nothing in Meek Mill's history that even make him look gay. Why the hell they told my Meek Mill like this? I'm not going to let no bum ass producer talk about my close personal friend Meek Mill like this. Meek Mill is a straight up gangster. A stand-up individual. Stamped and certified from the trenches. He put his whole hood on. Meek not gay. Wait. Is there anything? Let me see. Why y'all saying look up the pool video? What happened in the pool? Oh, him belly flopping? Meek Mill pool. Let me see. Oh, the fries on the lap? Nah, that was epic. That was epic. The fries on the lap was crazy. That was epic. Wait, that's about this one? Wait, nah, I ain't got no sound. So ain't got no sound. Here we go. Wait a minute. Daddy, you putting in that work. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Like you like mom and daughter. What the fuck? Uh. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Now, I talked to some old heads, like some of the niggas who still wearing, like, you know what I mean, Ivisu jeans, you know what I mean? Like, they still rocking rock aware and Sean John. They tell me that Diddy's just old. Like, they said niggas in the 90s and 80s called other men daddy. Like, that was a term of endearment. You feel me? So instead of saying homie, back in the 90s, niggas called other niggas daddy. That was the thing. Yo, daddy, what's up, daddy? Daddy. Yo, daddy, you looking good, daddy. That's what I heard. Now, again... It is it, we're in a different era, so it sounds weird. But from what I'm hearing, this was normal. Latoya, I don't know how old you are, but that was going on. I see Latoya Walker. Mikey, stop playing. You call your homie daddy. Stop playing. I ain't gonna lie, man. Yo, Meek, send a tweet out immediately, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Y'all remember this? Yo, yo. Yo, it's like Savage was like, it's, it's like they gave Savage an option. Yo, Savage, you, you want to hold on to Meek Mill's tummy or you want to just ride on the front? I, I'm going to just ride on the front. Yeah, now nah, I'm good. I'm going to just ride on the front. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> it still look crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo, a man lifting you in the air like this? Oh, hell nah, nigga. Like, he finna pile drive you? That look crazy, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. This whole shit look crazy. I ain't gonna lie, dog. But I ain't gonna lie. Listen, meet my close personal best friend. Nobody can tell me nothing about him. This is this is just bike life culture. This is nothing. This is bike life, nigga. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas. See, some of y'all niggas don't know about Philly, nigga. Bike life run Philly, nigga. This is how they give it up. That's how it go. It's just like, we, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I would feel kind of crazy if my legs, and Savage my man though, but if my legs is open and something in between my legs, even if it's a seat, and all of a sudden another man could lift me up, oh, hell nah. Oh, nah, uh-uh. Nigga, that nigga got a thrust to lift you up. He got a, ha! Ah! Hell nah, nigga. Hell nah, uh-uh. It, yo, it's a lose-lose situation. If you... At this part, at least your, your pelvis mode not rubbing on his ass cheeks, but he thrusting to lift you in the air. If you on the back, you holding on to this nigga navel. <laughs> Yo, this is crazy. Yo, let me stop joking before, before my friend get mad at me. This is that video that motherfucking Drake saw when he said 21. Now I'm playing. Drake, Yo, 21, now you my god, but you got to catch these jokes too. Everybody got to catch them today. Everybody got to catch them. These are only jokes. These are just jokes, sense of humor, people. Sense of humor. All meat got it. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. The well manicured, the well manicured hand resting also. Oh it, it, it's nestled on his tummy with like the pinky finger in in the motherfucking navel. I'm hey hey yo, listen, chill, 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 chill. Chill. This is bike life, though. Y'all gotta realize I'm defending me on this one. Fuck y'all niggas. This is bike life shit, nigga. See, y'all niggas never been in the streets. Y'all niggas be inside, man. Y'all niggas never been in the trenches, nigga. This is bike life. Feel me? All right, so he beat this allegation. This was crazy. The craziest part was when this nigga right here. He started looking back at it like he was like, oh, let me see how my shit toot out too. Nah, this shit was crazy. Nah, he, he did the look back at it move real quick. Look, look at the nigga in the back. Look, at, look you see him? He looking back at it. He like, oh shit, my, yeah, my shit looking fat. Nah, I'm playing. Let me, let me stop. 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 I gotta stop. <laughs> Yo, I gotta stop. Yeah, see? You see all that pelvic thrusting? Nah, I'm playing. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me get out of here. All right, no, no, this is bike life shit. Beat the allegations here. Uh, here, back in the 90s, all the, all straight men called each other daddy. Go look it up. Go watch a video from the 90s to see how they giving it up. They called each other daddy. That's what's going on, daddy. You feel me? It was a sound of respect. I'm proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Somebody compared it right. They said it's like, it's like how Spanish girls call you poppy. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But I heard this was a 90s hip-hop gangster thing. Real talk. Yeah. Uh, man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Uh, man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Beat those allegations too. It's only two allegations? See, God sees and knows up. He said, come on. Y'all never called somebody little daddy? Yeah. Y'all be calling. Well, I never did that, but shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, 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 use that in a sentence. Like, how would you call your man's little daddy? Like, 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 how, how would y'all put that down? Somebody says Meek calls his son Poppy. No, I think that's his name. I think that's his name. What are you talking about? That's his name. Meek and Diddy in matching fits. What are you talking about?
yo, I ain't gonna lie. This is kind of like a daddy post. I'm like, yo, daddy, <laughs> you feel me? Hold up. Fuck that. Every time I see that picture, it reminds me of 50 Cent shopping Diddy. Classic. The nigga Puff was like, yeah, like first he was amping him to, to right. get stout. Then he was like, yo, he's like, yo, so yo, when we gonna get the chance to, you know, to kick it, like we can just hang out, nigga. We gotta, we gotta Hold kick that. it. This is Puff. Okay. He telling me we gotta kick it and shit. And he was like, right. yo, why don't we like go shopping or some shit? I mean, like I pay for it. And I was like, what the fuck, this nigga just said. <laughs> <laughs> I got the fuck away from him because I was like, this, this nigga, like, the fuck it. Wait, this nigga just tell me he'd take me shopping. <laughs> and this is the shit, this is shit that goes on. Look at your little fruit, my pop is a fruit pile. <laughs> Trust me. You see these little weird ass pictures and shit like that out there? You should sit out there for no reason. Yo, if you don't see accident pictures, you'll be like kissing it. Like that doesn't happen by accident. Chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. Yes, I'm telling you. Look, look. Later, you're going to find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Oh, man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Chill. Man, listen. I'm trying to tell you. The nigga Pop was like. Hmm. I asked 50 about that. I asked him to take him shopping. He told me he'd take me shopping. I looked at him like, what the, what the, what'd you just say? Yeah, I thought he needed some clothes. He doesn't even know what he's saying is like fruity. What? I'm a nice guy. Oh, oh that's man. a nice gesture. That's Let me a... get out. No, dude, you take me there. Still, what a guy oh, says to a nice girl. <laughs> you know he loves me. I don't think he like it. You know he loves me. I don't think he like it. Okay. Can't stop. Won't stop. Well, I think do some like, like, little fluffy stuff. I asked 50 about that. That's him to it's kind of crazy. Why have you never stood next to nobody? Because you studied the 48 Laws of Power. Nah, man, you get, that's whack. And he knew exactly what I meant because he'd been standing next to something his entire career. Right. He stood next to Biggie. You put hot on him. That stand next to the fight if you want, right? You stood next to Mace. Mm -hmm. Stood next to Jock. Look, Puffy might be the destination for anybody going nowhere. <laughs> Y'all are fucked. Nobody survived. You all are fucked. Look at it. Yeah. Please, people, help me help you. Who's first? <laughs> Yo, let's go to intermission with 50, 50 talking about this because 50 is on relentless. I don't know if he deleted them posts, but 50 be on some shit, man. I think he probably did delete them posts. Did he? Yeah, I think he did. I think he did. Uh, We did post it, though. Yo, 50 be on this nigga did he hair, bro. Oh, it, no, no, it's not this. Where is that? Yo, 50 said, <laughs> look at this. Oh, shit. I'm on the floor dead. Somebody bring me back to life. God damn. This nigga, 50, he don't stop. All right, all right, all right, all right. Anyway. Okay. What about Usher and, and um, let's see. Usher. Diddy. That was type of gay. I moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. <laughs> to learn Flavor some Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, and it was <laughs> but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't say that. Okay. I, I didn't but say didn't, that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls what was the there. What the fuck? Wait, Luke. here you go. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh -huh. and I didn't necessarily understand. It. Uh -huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil' Kim, Craig Mack. All know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jodeci, Mary okay? J. Blige, they ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh, <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat, or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. Yeah. I actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> and and what kind, do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had like you know what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Fourteen years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? Oh shit, Sean. Gotta holler at you, man. 
This nigga said he went through it and he wouldn't put his child through it. Damn, what the fuck was going on? Y'all think it was freak offs? No. I'm not believing that. No. You know who I thought it was going to be at first? Fabulous. Nigga, I thought it was fabulous, nigga. Wait, did he? We had, we um, we want to thank you. Come in. Don't, don't sit on the bed. Not, no homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. Man, you, you, it's been a pleasure. You didn't have to do it. You did. No, no, no. I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first of all, I'm not getting the bed. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just going to. If we can, just, let's, let's just put the camera a little this way just so we're not. I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed at all. I should look like he fresh off the goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early. Now he's one of the richest stars in the world. Yo, what the fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's gonna acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes and we're streaming like- Nigga. Does Frosted Flakes means we used to wrestle to see who nutted first? I'm thinking, they ain't, they ain't talking about cereal, my nigga. They talking about ejaculating. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? These niggas used to wrestle till one of them ejaculated and they were called it Frosted Flakes. Oh, hell no. Nah. They got code words for the fuckery. Now, nah, that's crazy. That is crazy. Live. That was stupid. Listen. Oh, you trying to take this thing into the bed next. Stupid. Hey, we having a good time, yo. Are you usher made in the Hey, yo. You mentioned L.A. Reid sent you to um, to New York and you live with P. Diddy. They call it Flavor Camp. Flavor Camp, yeah. So what was that experience like and how did that help Usher's career? I think, I think, um, I don't think I would be the artist uh, that I am today without the experiences that I had in New York City. One, just being... Is this after all these allegations? Because, you know, I, I don't think niggas going to try to throw them under the bus unless they're really going to try to throw them under the bus. And then uh, a new place where I would have to adjust. Right. I didn't have the comfort of home. I'm in New York City and they was, you know, done and sunning me to death, bro. And I was like, shout it. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we finna go over here. You know what I'm saying? And they was like laughing at me because I was Southern and they were like New York. But they was like took me and they, they, they like they took me under their wing. You know what I'm saying? And looked at me like the little bro. Right. You know, I think back to, you know, the earlier times of being there when Bad Boy was formed. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned something. See Dwight 